time for bowling. And it seemed like every year, head coach Shawnita Middleton, under Coach Middleton, the bowling team has improved record-wise steadily every year. It, obviously, the goal is no different here, Coach. Yeah. The goal is to get back to the tournament. And uh, the win, the winner of that tournament goes to NCAAs. And that has to add a jolt to the goals and to the ladies this year that are coming in. Definitely. I know last year, Coach, y'all came close to qualifying. Unfor- unfortunately, fell short, but I know that kind of sort of the wake up call for the returnees. Yes, um, let's just talk about last year. And then you had one add on to the to uh, to all MEAC team last year, which I haven't really seen in a while. Yeah, second team MEAC. Uh, last season it was a uh, kind of up and down throughout the whole season. We finished the season with five bowlers, um, and I think that took its toll at the end of the season. But we did have one of our young ladies, Nia Turner, make the second team all MEAC team. So that was um, a huge success for us in our program because that hasn't happened uh, in a while. Um, I returned all five of the young ladies that were on the team and added two more strong freshmen, uh, Sydney Tyler and Roger Anderson, who I think will come in and make a great impact with this team this season. Coach, we couldn't talk about the schedule. We start as we started uh, the last few years at Cutstown, and it's always, always tough going over to Cutstown <laughs> and uh, competing. It's a great tournament, Coach. Uh, it is a great tournament. Um, this year, although Chestnut Hill is actually hosting, they've taken over that tournament. Um, so it's Chestnut Hill's tournament. Um, we still pretty much have the same uh, teams in the tournament from the past. It's a, it's a great season starter for us to kind of gauge to see where we are, what else we need to work on. That's why I always have this tournament on our schedule early in the season, kind of give us an idea of what we need to do moving forward. Also to let, you know, any freshmen I have get a get their, you know, get their feet wet, get the butterflies out the tummy so they know, you know, the level that they're on now is a completely different level and be ready to step up to the plate. Also step last year, <laughs> Coach, um, y'all, y'all the only – Coppin team to have beaten teams that are ranked in the country. And we did. That was one of our goals as a team, to get some ranked teams in our win column. Um, Monmouth was one of them. Uh, we had the first uh, top ten ranked team for the sport at Coppin, which was against UMBS, and they were ranked six in the country. Uh, we had a couple of other top 25 wins as well. So that was huge for us. It just motivated us and showed us, you know, we were moving in the right direction. And now with these key factors that we added, the girls are excited. I'm excited. The atmosphere, the camaraderie they have is like no other team that I've had so far. So I'm ready to get going. Coach, um, talk about talk about your – let's talk about those returning uh, bowlers, Coach, especially – um. Made, made the the old MEAC last year. Just we start with her. So, yeah, like I said, I have all five coming back. Nia Turner, who is one of my seniors this year, was the one who made the second team all MEAC last year. Uh, she's stronger than ever, adding you know more knowledge, more equipment to her arsenal to make sure we can get her to that first team MEAC this year. Um, also returning Aja McLean and. Maya Hamlet, who are my other two seniors that will be leaving me this year, unfortunately. Um, but I know they're hungry. So they're trying to get to the champ- New York Championship Tournament um, and try to make some things happen. I'm also returning Kayla Costillo, who was second on the team uh, and with an average, and Jasmine McCray. Everybody played a pivotal role in our season last year, and everybody's just hungry. So I'm excited to get going. I know they are. Um. The, the young ladies you added this year. Um, t- what 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 made you decide to add 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 them and how how will they benefit? Uh, Sydney Tyler is out of Frankfurt, Illinois. Um, very technical, fundamental player. Um, strong bowler as well. Strong spare shooter. Uh, pivotal part. Uh, spares is what gets you the wins. Um, that's how we won that game against you and yes, spares. Um, Roger Anderson. Um, we worked on her technique some, but her aggressiveness 
Uh, she's she's that that hung she's hungry you know that hunger that she has that's what's gonna propel us over as well and get everybody else you know just she could just pretty much lead by example. Um, coach, you know everyone knows in the nation the MIAC is one of the toughest in the nation when it comes to college bowling and it's nothing different here. Just uh, about having to compete in this conference uh, day in day out and having to, having to repay you have to earn it here. Yeah, definitely. Um, my girls come to work every day. I mean, we're in the weight room, we're on the lanes, we're in the film room, we're doing mental uh, training just to get our minds ready. Because for us, it, it doesn't matter who we're bowling against. Um, you can only beat yourself. So as long as we bring our A game, um, we'll be ready to go. I always say the best team won't always win, the most prepared team will. So we definitely try to make sure when we go out here uh, each day that we're prepared. Coach, a few more, a few more tournaments. I see as this schedule that I haven't seen. I know one room was one room the H like the HBCU Invitational, and in Atlanta in March and both for the, both for the Cure in February, and even the uh, Ag Invitational Ag in uh, in Greensboro. Yeah, the Ag Invitational is the first year tournament uh, that North Carolina A and T and Kim Kearney and them have put together. So I added that to my schedule. Uh, then we have the Bowl for the Cure. Normally, at the beginning of February, we would go to the Golden Bear Classic, uh, but trying to create some room in there before the MEAC, before the second round of MEAC, so my girls are going to be tired out. I added the Bowl for Cure, which is at the beginning of February, and gives us a break before we go on a two weekend stretch of tournaments. The TNBA, TNBA HBCU is a pivotal tournament um, for us. We couldn't make it there last year when it was held in New Orleans. So we're really trying to push to get there. We're just in Atlanta this year. We're doing a couple of fundraising um, to try to get ourselves there. But um, that's a uh, tournament is trying to bridge itself between the adult association, which is the TNBA, and then the HBCUs. A lot of girls will leave here and continue to bowl, and that's an association that they can join once they become an adult. So it's a huge thing that the TNBA is doing, putting together, um, just to bridge that gap. Um, Coach, uh, you the first, we, we got to talk about the MEAC meets, and I know there, there's some changes with that, but you have, you have two and you bowl everybody. It, um, just talk talk about the the changes in, in those meets. Okay. Um, we do have two meets now. We went down from three to two meets. Uh, Coppin State University will be hosting the first meet, which is November 8th through the 10th. We also went from three uh, went to three days from two days. We have 11 teams, so we keep the tournament lucrative and um, uh, the the highest you know respect. We uh, made it three days. And we will bowl each team in um, traditional and bakers between the first and second MEAC. The second MEAC is hosted by FAMU and it'll be held in Pensacola, Florida in February. But definitely, like I said, we host the first one November 8th to the 10th. We host at Bowl America Glen Burnie. Starts on Friday around noon. And Saturday we start around 10 a.m. And then Sunday we start around uh 9 30. Sunday will also be our senior day for my seniors and that'll be midday probably around 12 o'clock that we'll be having our senior day presentation so and if you listen to this come on out you know if you need more information check the Coppin State Sports uh, website or you can follow us you know at Coppin State Bowling on Facebook and Coppin underscore bowling on Instagram and Twitter. Um, Coach for those who don't know coming to uh, me at bowling meet is a, it's a it's a real treat. If if you're not there, you're missing. You're missing out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, tell, <laughs> tell the folks what the tell the fans what the info once you come and support. It, it it is a lot of fun. People they don't realize how how much energy and how much fun a collegiate bowling match is. Um, there's a lot a lot of cheering going on between the teams, the parents, the spectators. Uh, I would recommend if you come get there early so you can get a spot where you can see or go to Home Depot and get you a ladder so you can see over the fans. But you, if you haven't been, you got to come one time. And Glen, I remember Bowl America Glen Burnie is roughly about 15 minutes from Coppin, so that would be a good option, you know, to get out there. It's close enough. Um, and just come, come support your home team. 
You heard her. You see her. The head coach of Coppin State University Bowling, Shawnita Middleton. Get on out there November 8th through the 10th. Support your Coppin State Lady Eagles as me at meet number one. Huge meet. Come on out and support. Thanks so much, Coach, and I hope to see you over there. No problem. Hope to see you too, Keith. Thanks.